Hello, my name is Kishwani. That's K E S H W A N I, Kishwani. We are here because we want to improve our math skill. Today is our lesson number eight. Lesson number eight in a series of 15 videos on the topic of absolute value inequalities. And today also happens to be our lesson number 123. The problem for today is already on the blackboard. Let's take a look at it. We are told that if absolute value of a minus half, if absolute value of a minus half is less than nine halves, if the absolute value of a minus half is less than nine halves, then which of the following could be the value of a among the five answer choices that are given? Among the five, which of them could could be could be the value of a? And the answer choices are negative nine negative 9 halves, positive 9 halves, 9 and 18. What I want you to do right now is to pause the video, solve the problem yourself. When you have, once you have the answer, re resume the video and then compare your work against the work that you and I will do together in a few seconds time. All right? I'll give you 5 seconds to be able to pause and unpause the video because that's how long it takes me to take a sip of, the, a sip of my tea. All right, let's get going. Instead of jumping right in the problem itself, let's first do a very simple scenario, a simpler version of this problem. A very simpler version of this problem on the, on the bottom here. Let's say, for example, if we are told that the absolute value of x is less than 5. Very simple, very straightforward question. We are told that the absolute value of x is less than 5. If you look at the number line here, there is a 0, there is a positive 5, there is a negative 5, and what is the absolute value of x going to be 5? Can x, can x be negative 7? Can x, can x be negative 7? The answer is no, absolute value of negative 7 is 7, and 7 is not less than 5. We are told that it has to be less than 5. x cannot be negative 7. Can it be negative 4? The answer is yes, absolute value of negative 4 is 4, which is less than 5. In other words, x has to be, in this area, x would have to be more than negative 5. X has to be uh, more than negative 5 or, or where else absolute value of X is going to be less than 5? In this region right here. Can X be, can X be 8? The answer is not, answer is no because if X happens to be 8, absolute value of 8 it not, is not less than 5. Absolute value of x has to be less than 5. x cannot be 8. x can be 4 or 3 or 2. It could be anything in here. So it's in this region right here. In other words, x is either more than negative 5 or x would have to be less than positive 5. Are you with me so far in the story? Now we're going to write these two statements. Instead of writing them, instead of writing them separately, we're going, to, we're going to consolidate. I'm going to put them in one statement. I'm going to do it actually on the top so you can see it here. So what this says is that x has to be x has to be more than negative 5. And the way to write this thing is our x here has to be more than negative 5. Let's put it here so you can see it. x has to be more than negative 5. That's, this thing is this statement is the same as this statement. x is more than negative 5. You see, x is greater than negative 5. x is greater than negative 5 or less than positive 5. Voila. Instead of saying, instead of saying that x has to be more than negative five or less than positive five, instead of saying in such an awkward way, in such a geeky way, in such nerdy academic way, on the way we could read the same this statement here in simple in simple terms, in simple English language, in simple English language, what this statement tells us is that x, whatever it is, has to lie between negative five and positive five, which is exactly what we're showing here. X has to lie between negative five and positive five. Because the absolute value of x is less than 5. The exact same logic, the exact same technique, the exact same rationale, the exact same method is going to apply here. The only difference is that if we don't have x here, we have a little bit, of, little bit more of a complicated quantity. Instead of x, we have a minus half, and instead of 5, we have 9 over 2. But this is what it is. x has to lie between negative 5 and a positive 5. a minus half will have to lie between negative 9 halves and a positive 9 halves. A, what this tells us is that a minus half has to lie between negative nine and a half or 
I, mean to, I didn't mean to say nine and a half, I meant to say nine halves. A minus half, the, the quantity that we see in the, in the absolute value, and the absolute value sign has to lie between negative nine halves or positive nine halves. That's it, we're done. We just have to solve for A. Let's do it. We see, we see negative one half here. Somehow we have to get rid of this negative one half because we want the A by itself. So let's, let's add half to, half to it. And if you're going to add half to this quantity, we have to add half to this, this side, and we have to add half to that side. In other words, let's add half, let's add half to the entire inequality. Of course, it's, it's no different than dealing with the equation, dealing with an inequality. It's no different than dealing with an equality, dealing with an equation. If you're going to add half to one side of the equation, we have to add half to the other side of the equation. Otherwise, the equation is no longer valid. Otherwise, the equation won't hold. So, so we're going to add half to the entire inequality. Let's take a look at it. What happens here? So this, this thing that we see here shows the solution for absolute value of x is less than 5. Let's first take care of this part. A negative half and a positive half is going to cancel out. That was the whole point. And here we're left with just a. a has to lie between negative half and a positive. Negative 9 half and a positive 1 half. Negative 9 negative 9 and a positive 1 is a negative negative 8 negative 8 over 4 negative 8 over 2 rather if you have 9 halves if you have 9 halves negative 9 halves and a positive 1 half that's a negative 1 8 or if you want to look at it this way if you have 9 halves and if you take away 1 half you get left with 8 half except this is the bigger num the, 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 the number with the negative sign is the bigger number so we have to put that here it's negative 8 halves negative 8 halves same thing here, we have a 9 half and a 1 half, 9 half and a 1 half it is 10 halves. It's 10 halves. Because 9 plus 1 is 10. 9 halves, 9 halves and 1 half, it's going to be 10 halves. You just have to simplify it. 8 halves is same as negative 4. And 10 halves is same as positive 5. In other words, in other words, what we just said is, what we just showed here is that in this scenario, A would have to lie somewhere between negative 4 and a positive 5. Any value that lies between negative 4 and a positive 5 is the, is, is, uh, the all of those are allowable, allowable values of X, uh, allowable values of A. Anything that lies below negative 4 or above positive 5 are not allowable. There, we are given 5 answer choices. 4 of them are going to fall in the non-allowable region. Only 1 is going to fall in the allowable region. Our job is to look at that one value. That's all. Question was, which of the following could be? Which of the following could be? We have no way of knowing what A exactly is, but it's somewhere between negative 4 and positive 5. Is 18 going to work? 18 is not going to work because it's positive 5. I'm going to, I'm debating whether or not I should raise this part here because this makes a nice comparison here. 18 is not going to work because it has to be less than positive 5. It has to be less than positive 5. How about negative 9? Would negative 9 work? No. It has to be more than negative 4. It has to be more than negative 4. Negative, four, negative 9 falls outside the region. What about negative, negative 9 half? Negative 9 halves. Negative 9 halves is same as negative 4 and a half. Negative 4 and a half, it lies to the left of negative 4. It's not allowed. The answer is, answer is, because of the fact that A can be anywhere between negative 4 and a positive 5, therefore, a could be four and a half. A could be four and a half because four and a half is less than five. The answer is C. I'll see you tomorrow, okay? Bye now.